Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. Yes, um, ladies and gentlemen, today we view uh, Master or uh, the former president Jacob Zuma received a very maximum uh, protection from MKMVA maximum protection so my question will be is he receiving the maximum uh, protection uh, so that he may uh, underestimate the law of the country or the judiciary is that my question but I believe any one of you has an answer now you have the answer of the question so even though it's like that uh, we see people supporting um, as the former president uh, Jacob Zuma. Uh, they are coming in large numbers. The Umkonto Wesizwe coming up, lining up to support the and the protection of the uh, entrance of Nkanda or surrounded by Nkanda. So, because the former president Jacob Zuma refused to appear uh, in court ne? they refused to appear in court i mean or in the zondo commission so people uh, it depends whether you see this being right for mr zuma not to appear in court or being protected not to appear in court or how is it so you've got this in your mind so i want us to just check this video so well and after so that we may then review what we have seen thank you very much let's check the video The reason why we are here as community members and members of the ADC in particular is to show support for pre former President Zuma. And we want to tell the country or want to show the country that what is being done to our former president is now is now out of order. We are full of it. Uh, <coughs> we want to support what is being done by veterans of Umkondo Wesizwe. We are behind them and we fully support. And the decision taken by the former president, we fully behind it because we know we know very well that it's not it's not that uh, he's being treated like any other person in the country and which we feel like his right is being oppressed is taken away from him if we, if someone wants us to fight we are going to fight if zuma is being arrested let them arrest us all we are going to go with him because we, we can as, as, as i've been telling that what has been done to him it's unfair he's being treated unfairly very 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 much we're not surprised with the presence of uh, uh, MKMVA and other forces, specifically uh, RET forces. we definitely not surprised with their presence. I mean, they are here to show support uh, to the former president, who has made it clear that he is not going to be appearing before the Zondo Commission, despite uh, a constitutional uh, court uh, judgment which we obviously dispute and the fact that uh, we are still awaiting the applications that the former president has made in the North Houding High Court which needs to review the the refusal of a uh, deputy chief justice Zondo to recuse himself from the commission based on whatever that was submitted. So pending all those who would then have to sit and wait. We, we, we do not dispute the fact that our judiciary has been politicized and it has entered uh, the political fray. Uh, there are more of politicians than uh, judicial people. So. We, we, we cannot say much about that because we do not have the money that they are throwing around uh, to everyone. So we do not have that kind of money to throw around. But what, we, what the former president is saying is, I will fight for my rights. If it means 
my rights are going to be infringed. I would rather go to jail to show them that uh, I will fight for my rights as I did uh, for the liberation of this country. Man, thank you for so much. I hope you watched the video. Né? You have seen how the um controversies came out in large numbers. And um, so forth, the Bekitele have been questioned so much about the issue that why should he visit uh, Mr. President, former President uh, Jacob Zuma, why should he visit him? Uh, so he stated that uh, he must visit to check how the situation should be resolved before it goes beyond uh, unlike the issue of the marikana because people died in marikana because no one went there to resolve the matter so as you can see here um you know begitele decided to go i mean and speak to former president jacob zuma about this matter they might have maybe reached the conclusion to resolve the matter so but anyway um if something is being done against the law of the country and then the police should intervene so therefore uh, it's up to you know, it's up to the judiciary or the court to decide what should follow after when someone refuses to adhere or uh, and this kind of a maximum protection of the former president Jacob Zuma. And uh, so then the question is how is this thing going to end? It will end with a war or the judiciary, police, or what? Thank you very much. My name is Dr. Jones. God may richly bless any one of you. Please, every now and then, subscribe to receive more notifications. Thank you very much. Goodbye.